God's Story, the Ten Commandments and the Golden Calf. So part of God's story is about one of the many times God forgave his family, and it begins like this. Remember how God chose Moses to lead his family out of slavery in Egypt? God wanted his family to be free and happy in the wonderful home he promised them, called Canaan. All they had to do was follow God home through the wilderness. The problem was, they kept disobeying God instead of following him. They kept trying to do things their own way. So one day, while the Israelites were on their way to Canaan, God told them what he expected from his family. Basically, how to treat each other, how to love God, and how to be part of his team. And with God on their side, the Israelites wouldn't need to worry about anything. This sounded pretty good, so Moses went up a mountain called Sinai to talk to God about it. There, God gave them 10 rules to live by, called 10 Commandments. Turns out, God had a lot more to say. He and Moses talked for 40 more days and nights. During that time, God's family got tired of waiting for their leader, so they asked Moses' brother Aaron to make them new gods to worship. But the very first commandment God had given Moses was, you must not have any other god but me. Aaron and the people had just heard that. But Aaron wanted to make the people happy more than he wanted to make God happy. So he collected all their gold, melted it down, and turned it into a calf. That's a baby cow. They worshipped the calf and said, these are the gods who brought us out of the land of Egypt. Well, God knew what was happening, and he told Moses to get back to the people. When Moses saw what they were doing, he was so angry that he smashed the Ten Commandments God had written for him on the ground. Then he burned the calf, ground it to powder, threw it into the water, and made the people drink it. Because it's a big deal when we choose to disobey God. Finally, Moses turned to Aaron and asked what happened. Aaron said, I threw their gold jewelry into the fire, and out came this calf. Even though the people disobeyed God, and even though they weren't all sorry for what they did, Moses begged God to forgive them. He reminded God how much he loved Israel. They were his special family. Of course, God did love them. And because Moses asked him to, God forgave them. See, God knew it would be impossible for his family to be perfect. That's why he sent them Moses, a leader who could show them how to follow God and remind God how much he loved his family. And for many years, God would continue to choose leaders, sometimes called prophets or judges or kings, who would tell God's family when they messed up and ask God to forgive them, because God loves to forgive. And that's a story of forgiveness. But that's not all there is. Later, God sent his perfect son, Jesus, to rescue the whole world. He did that by taking the punishment that we deserve. Now, everyone in the whole world can become part of God's family. And one day, we'll live with him in a perfect home, joyful and free, just like God planned all along. And that's a part of God's story.